Well, how fantastic is that? Kevin Gaskell walked to the South Pole, Peter Van Ketz rode the ocean, Ryan Hogarth, he's passionate about social media. <laughs> but at least that is very true. Influence. This is something every business needs, but most are not entirely sure how it, what it exactly means and how to develop it. If you have influence in your industry, you of course will have success. And to understand what influence means in the modern context, we need to go back about 16 years to the twilight moments of the 20th century when the world was changing irrevocably. But like many great moments in history, it was a moment that was barely noticed at the time. Yet, it was the start of a revolution that in the years to come would eventually upend every industry in the world. And it begins in the world of entertainment and specifically music. Piracy in music it has always been an irritation, but at the moment that music could be digitized and then shared across the internet, it became an epidemic. A young 19-year-old American started a service called Napster. And Napster allowed people from across the world to connect to each other and to share their personal music libraries. The industry, seeing their 40-year period of dominance and influence come under threat, went to war. And their mighty legal machines won a victory that was ultimately pointless. They shut down Napster but the dam had broken and they could not hold back the deluge of similar services that arose as quickly as others were shut down. And we saw that this was the beginning of the end of control as a central business model for success. And it was Steve Jobs who finally made them see some sense. His proposal was simple yet radical. Make music easily available online, he said, and make it cheap. And when we see the success today of iTunes, we know that that industry was forever changed. But iTunes succeeded because we came to trust it. And it was at this point that trust began to replace control as that central business model for success. And as bandwidth became faster and cheaper, so a similar revolution came to the film and television industry, and ultimately today, every industry in the world. The internet, social media, mobile, and technology has disrupted every business in the world, whether that business sells cornflakes or is providing a business-to-business -business service. And the question everyone in business has to be asking themselves is, do you understand how your business has been disrupted? Do you, have you seen the amazing opportunities that exist for your business and for you in this amazing new world? Or are you perhaps still trying to hold back the deluge from that broken dam? Today, all the options, the power, and the choice rest in the hands of empowered consumers. And those self-same empowered consumers make up our workforce. And we will not succeed in business unless we have the trust of our customers and we have the trust of that workforce. It is only when we have that trust that we have some measure of influence. So in order to have influence, there has to be trust. And the process of building trust in your business is what is today referred to as social business. The multitude of actions you can take every day in your business help to build that trust. Whether it's, whether it's flattening out your organization's chart to become a little bit more, you know, moving away from the old style hierarchical system into something that's more inclusive, more collaborative, or if it's perhaps responding as close to instantly as possible to a customer inquiry or a customer complaint. All of these things build trust. How about opening up social media to your entire organization and empowering your workforce to use it to generate new business, to drive your business forward? A social business is one that understands its customers and understands its employees through the lens of the internet, social media, mobile, and technology. And a social business is a 21st century business. And the process of taking your business there is something that I like to call how to win influence and friend people. I'm Ryan Hogarth, and I look forward to presenting at a conference near you. Thank you very much.